What is the book of 2 Peter about? Well, if the book of 1 Peter is about suffering, the book of 2 Peter is about false doctrine. And Peter is writing this letter, 2 Peter, was written right after 1 Peter, written around A.D. 64, to Hebrew Christians that have been scattered in an area called North Central Turkey. And Peter uh, kind of sounds like Paul Revere. You remember Paul Revere from American history? Paul Revere said, the British are coming. The British are coming. Well, First Peter starts to sound the alarm that the false teachers are coming. Uh, he's no longer dealing with the subject of suffering as he was in First Peter. Now he's dealing with the subject of false teachers, which the Holy Spirit has told him are on the horizon. So he is trying to prepare his audience for these coming false teachers and how to protect themselves in the midst of false teaching. And so chapter one is part one of the book. Chapter two is part two of the book. Chapter three is part three of the book. Chapter one, he tells his audience to grow up and he actually gives them the formula for maturity. They are to tap into the resources of Christ, which they already have, and are to cooperate with the Holy Spirit's agenda and grow up and mature. Now, why would he include that in a book on false teaching? He includes that in a book on false teaching because the more mature you are, the less easy it is to be swayed by false teaching. It's sort of like a child when they're a new, newborn and they're crawling on the ground. Anything they see on the ground, they'll put in their mouth. But as the child grows, they start to have discernment. Well, maybe I should not put this in my mouth, and maybe I should put this in my mouth. Because with maturity comes greater discernment. And so if a child, when they're 16, is still crawling around on the ground and putting things in their mouth, then you have a developmental problem with the child. So more maturity means more discernment. So he encourages them to, to mature. Then in chapter 2, he reveals all of the characteristics of false teachers. It's a tremendous chapter explaining what false teachers are like. And then finally in chapter 3, he reveals the doctrine of these coming false teachers, how they are going to lay an attack upon two doctrines. Those two doctrines are the only doctrines that men are not there to see. Uh, creation, because no one was there except God. And the second coming, because the second coming hasn't happened yet. So he's going to explain that these false teachers are going to attack those two doctrines because they've never seen them. And Peter refutes that. And in the process, he tells why the doctrine of creation and the doctrine of the second coming of Christ are so important to our worldview as Christians. And I can't think of a more relevant book to study than this book, Second Peter, because we're living amongst an onslaught of false teachers. And so really the message of the book is we can insulate ourselves from the false doctrine and false teachers that are all around us simply by maturing in Christ simply by becoming aware of the general characteristics of false teachers and then by becoming aware of why the doctrine of creation and the return of Christ are so significant to our belief system and our theology and worldview as Christians. So I hope you'll get into the book of Second Peter and insulate yourself from the coming false teachers.